Georgia Tech softball player who suddenly lost her hearing is now able to reconnect with her teammates and loved ones. As Atlanta News first Don Shipman explains, she credits a tiny device with drawing her out of self-isolation. Once I got to college, it became increasingly more difficult. From Zuari, Georgia, number 44, Chandler Dennis. Georgia Tech student athlete Chandler Dennis is thriving both on and off the field now, but that wasn't always the case. I was struggling in school because it was really hard to keep up with what the professors were saying. The 22-year-old suffered sudden onset hearing loss in high school. It only got worse as she entered college. It became kind of isolating, pretty isolating, I would say, because it was really hard to keep up with my friends and social situations. That isolation led to struggles with her mental health. Dennis says that she found herself avoiding crowds and other social settings. The surgery itself takes about an hour to do. But in December of 2022, Dennis joined the more than 183,000 people in the U.S. in receiving a cochlear implant a small electronic device that her doctor at Atlanta Institute for Ear, Nose and Throat attached to the inside wall of her skull that helps her hear. Dr. Scott Brown says the outpatient surgery has dramatically changed over the years. Previously, people who got cochlear implants, uh, they got pretty large incisions. Some people were even hospitalized. Um, but thankfully, those techniques have been updated and changed, and we can use a very, very small, approximately four centimeter incision behind the ear. I remember sitting on my front porch and being able to hear the birds and the wind chimes for the first time in like five years. One year later, as Dennis prepares for her final season of pitching for the Yellow Jackets, she says that she feels more confident and connected to her friends. She especially notices a marked improvement in her mental health. If I can help other people with my experience, I would love to. Dennis is set to graduate this spring with plans of pursuing a career in sports psychology. But first, she kicks off her final season of pitching here at Georgia Tech this week. In Midtown, Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. So great to hear that's making such a difference. We take it for granted that we can hear it. I was just about to say yeah. that. You don't miss it till you lose it. I'm glad she's got it back.